Hey everybody, it's Small G Gang. I'm continuing my reviews of the New 52, DC's New 52, uh, week four. Now, last time I reviewed Batman, Catwoman, and Wonder Woman. I talked about Catwoman about how fetishy it was. I didn't mention that Catwoman has her legs spread wide, and there's a lot of shots of her butt. It's a very, very sexualized comic. And so now what do we have? We have Nightwing with his legs spread. And, of course, it's dark in his nether regions. However, Nightwing does wear a shiny rubber suit. So I guess there's some equality in the DC universe. However, Nightwing uh, manages to keep his suit on the whole time. Here's my problem with Nightwing. Why do we have to read it? Now, it's kind of, I thought the artwork is attractive. This is by Kyle Higgins, Eddie Barrows, and J.P. Mayer. I feel like they've worked Nightwing. I, I have to tell you, I think this is a step backward. Here, Dick Grayson finally became Batman, and now he's got to go back to being Nightwing. Also, get this. In this month's Batman, Dick Grayson is a teenager after having been an adult, and now in Nightwing, he's an adult again. I just, uh, maybe someone needed to do some meetings. I thought Nightwing was quite good looking, both the character and the artwork. I thought the artwork was nice. I didn't have a problem with it, per se. It was kind of nice that Dick Grayson went back to the circus just to get his hand in it. But again, <clears throat> we have a Gotham City that is not only swarming with hundreds of thousands of bats. Gotham has a bat problem. You know, there's never a night where there aren't a million bats in the sky. And it seems like everybody and his brother is a psychotic, serial killer, grisly, violent, gory slasher. This one, in this issue, I forgot even forgot his name. They're so interchangeable. This one's got a guy with wolverine claws that kills people that Nightwing has to stop. And gosh, I hope he stops it. And no, I'm not that interested in Dick Grayson going back to the circus. Anyway, I, 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 I again, having worked in comics, I, I give these guys full marks. It's beautifully done. I guess they did the best that they could. But I'm just feeling like this Bat franchise is stretched really thin. I mean, are they going to give Alfred his own book, too? I... <laughs> Because it's nicely rendered and all, I'll give a Nightwing a C. You know, it's certainly not as bad as those horrible Legion of Superhero comics. Um, so, yeah, there's, there, there's, a, there's a tendency to... I, I'm just expecting them to give Alfred his own comic, like I say. Or, you know, Bathound his own comic. And just have a lot of, like, psychotic killers that Bathound has to fight. Now for Birds of Prey. This is by Dwayne Straczynski and Jesus Sayers. You know, a lot of people have given this a fair to middling review, and I thought it was quite interesting. Um, so far in the first issue, we only see uh, Black Canary and Starling. Starling is apparently a new character. She's kind of rockabilly and um, crazy. And um, Black Canary apparently has killed somebody, and everyone's after her. Again, this... I, I didn't understand what was going on. They were fighting invil invisible people. Um, I'm a new reader, and I, I don't really understand. This is Katana. I remember her from Batman and the Outsiders from the 80s. And I don't know who this is, Poison Ivy. I've yet, we, we've yet to meet her. Batgirl makes an appearance, though. And I have to say that uh, Dwayne Straczynski, who writes uh, mystery novels as well, gives this book a fun kind of noirish feel and an action feel. And the superheroes, while they're not, like the superwomen are not incredibly powerful, they have some superpowers, and the villains that they fought were kind of invisible, and it was a little bit more fantastic than, you know, issue after issue of Batman with blood all over the place. So I liked that element, that it was kind of fantastic, but still kind of like a hard-boiled uh, crime novel at the same time. Um, 
Also, Batgirl makes an appearance here. Not in costume, but I have my hopes that Batgirl will eventually join. So, it is a female team. I thought it was a uh, hundred times less sexist than, say, Catwoman was. Um, and, um, I don't know. I like the art uh, a lot, actually. And, um, you know, it's, it's not the greatest comic ever, but it has potential. So, I'll give uh, the Birds of Prey, I will give Birds of Prey a, uh, a B. Now, here's the best book of the week, as everyone's saying, Supergirl. And you know something, I have to, I have to take something back, because in my first vlog, the first vlog that I did, I really went hard on Grant Morrison for his marks with Superman, and I, to my surprise, the Superman family of characters are the most intriguing to me in the new 52. As soon as Superboy came out, and we saw that this is a new complex universe, that this is not going to be a Michael Moore comic book every week, um, and that Superboy was part of uh, an evil corporation that's cloning Superman already, and they've made a, a duplicate Superman, and the kind of Smallville memories from the old Superboy are a uh, computer program that he's being fed. I just thought there, it was some, there was some exciting new changes in the Superman family, more than any of the other comics. Uh, Wonder Woman seems to be quite different as well. But I, so far, I'm most excited by uh, the Superman family characters. Uh, aside from that, I like Resurrection Man, and I like Demon Knights as well. I like some of the supernatural ones. But Supergirl adds a new element to this. Um, this, you know, I've learned since uh, the first issue that uh, the Superman that Grant Morris is doing takes place five years in the past. And the other Superman family titles apparently take place in the present. Uh, Supergirl has just come to Earth. She comes to Earth in this issue. Again, I may give away some spoilers here, but you wouldn't be listening to me if you did, weren't interested in my spoilers. Uh, Supergirl just ca has just come to Earth, and she's completely um, shocked. Uh, she has no idea why she's here. She still appears to be the daughter of Zorel. Uh, she mentions uh, General Zod, so Superman fans have that to look forward to. Um, she mentions something about how this isn't Krypton. Uh, I have no idea if she's from Argo City. I don't know if they're going to use that storyline at all. Um, the interesting thing about Supergirl is that she's alien. And she has no uh, concept of what Earth is. And uh, she doesn't speak the language. And uh, she's in a, in a real state of confusion in this alien world. And so they're emphasizing the fact that Supergirl is really an alien. And... Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how uh, she uh, works into the Superman continuity. She still seems to be basically good, as far as I can tell. But um, she's, she feels like she's under siege, you know. And she's very confused by the weather, the sun... Uh, everything, everything about the physical world is is shocking to her, and she has she has no comprehension of what is happening to her. So um, we have we have now a Marxist Superman, a Superboy clone, um, who is unaware, completely unaware of what he is, and a Supergirl who is um, alien an alien um, who's freaked out by planet Earth. It's very intriguing. I think that the Superman family of titles is the most uh, successful of the DC reboot, in my opinion. So there you go. Three more for you. Um, the Red Hood and what is it? The Red Hood and the, uh, what was that thing called? 
you know the Red Hood. Red Hood and the Outlaws. That was sold out. Can you believe it? Here it is only the second day of the New 52. And um, I went to a place last night. I had to work last night, so I wasn't able to go to my usual place. And I, I went to another place last night. They were sold out of all but three of them, three of the less desirable ones, in one day. So today I went to my usual place, and I got the last copy of Supergirl, and they were sold out of Red Hood and the Outlaws. You know, and I got one of the last Catwoman. So it looks like the New 52 is a hit. My comic book man told me that they're bringing out more number ones over the next few months. So they're they're not going to stop with this because it's so successful, apparently. Whatever. You know, there's there's definitely some that I'm going to keep reading and some that are going to I'm going to drop. And uh, you know, I'm going to give my final grades after the full month. So we have one more week of reviews and uh I'll let you know how I feel about the whole shebang at the end of it. Small GK. Bye-bye.